Hello, and welcome to the first episode of Lifespan News, a new initiative where we will be covering the latest information on longevity science. I'm your host, Brent Nally, and I'm really flipping excited to be here because I've wanted something like this new show to exist for over a decade, and to my knowledge, it doesn't. Now it does. Get excited. So as I said, this is the first episode and we have aims of producing this content regularly. So please make sure if you haven't already yet, like this video, subscribe to our channel, click the notification bell and select all notifications so you don't miss any of the videos. And also share this video on social media if you find it valuable and let us know what you think in the comments below. Also, be sure to check the description in the video here below so you can find sources to all the information that we're sharing. With that, let's jump into the news. Our first update comes from Unity Biotechnology, which was one of the first biotech companies to launch human trials for senolytics drugs. Senolytics are meant to clear senescent cells. The accumulation of senescent cells are thought to be one of the drivers of aging. Unity is currently conducting a phase two trial for the UBX0101 drug to treat osteoarthritis of the knee. They expect preliminary results in the autumn. In the second half of 2020, Unity Biotechnology expects to launch a phase one clinical trial for their senolytic drug UBX1325, which is meant to treat multiple age-related eye diseases. Unity Biotechnology has had investments from billionaires Peter Thiel and Jeff Bezos. And here at Lifespan, we highly encourage any wealthy people to donate to life extension initiatives. For our next story, two proteins allow LDL cholesterol into our cells. This research was conducted at New South Wales University where the researchers discovered that two proteins they're calling NPC1 and NPC2 facilitate the transport of LDL into our cells. Some LDL cholesterol is necessary, but LDL that builds up in our arteries is thought to lead to heart disease. The two proteins might be good drug candidates to help lower LDL cholesterol. This story is on LEAF's website, so make sure to check the description below for a link directly to learn more. For our next story, pilot study results suggest epigenetic age reversal. Here at Lifespan, we're not endorsing any products and it's still really early to tell these results, but let's take a deeper look into what's going on. Ponce de Leon Health shared the results of a pilot consumer trial for their supplement, Rejuvent. According to the company, quote, Rejuvent appears to rebalance your epigenetic DNA methylation patterns to that of a younger you, resetting gene expression, thus reversing epigenetic aging, end quote. Mice data was promising. The results of this small human trial suggest that two thirds of the patients taking the supplement Rejuvent have experienced significant reduction in their epigenetic age after taking the supplement for up to six months. So this is exciting, but we need to make sure to stay grounded because the trial was small. The company is preparing to launch a larger scale trial. It should be noted that they use true age test to measure the DNA methylation for this trial. Also remember to check the show notes for the link to the LEAF article for more information on this story. Okay, moving on to our next story, it appears that the secret for the naked mole rat cancer resistance has been unearthed. Now I've been obsessed with the naked mole rat for quite some time, and so I'm excited about this story personally. Naked mole rats are a curious long-lived rodent that have a unusual resistance to cancer. Previously, scientists thought that their cells were resistant to becoming cancerous. However, Cambridge University researchers have recently found out that that's not true. The researchers introduced cancer-inducing genes into the naked mole rats, expecting the cells wouldn't turn cancerous to begin with. Instead, they did turn cancerous, but it seems the cell microenvironment in the naked mole rats was able to stop early stage cancer from developing into tumors. So as most of our stories end here with longevity news, we'll just have to stay tuned to see how this research continues to unfold. For the final story for our first Lifespan News episode, XPRIZE has added longevity for their impact roadmaps. For those that don't know, XPRIZE is a nonprofit that organizes public competitions to encourage technological growth. Their impact roadmaps now include a longevity roadmap, which will hopefully help us uncover the challenges to extending healthy human lifespan. XPRIZE encourages everybody to join their community to design a prize to demonstrate that age reversal in humans can be achieved. Go to the link in the description below to learn more. Our Lifespan Fearless Leader, Keith Comito, also reported on this last year in 2019. You can also check out Keith on the damage report where he discussed why aging is the foremost risk factor for morbidity and mortality for COVID-19. 
And those were some of the stories from Lifespan News this week. If you feel that we missed anything or you'd like us to add certain things to this show format in future videos, then let us know in the comments below. If you haven't already secured your ticket for LEAF's third annual Ending Age-Related Diseases Conference, which has now been moved online, then please make sure that you use the promo code BRENTIN2020 to get 10% off any ticket. We look forward to seeing you on August 20th and 21st at this awesome event. And so that will do it for our first episode of Lifespan News. I hope to see you next time at least as healthy as you are now.